Now then, everybody, happy Homebrew Wednesday. Did I get any brewing done this weekend? Did I, Eck? Unbeknownst to me, I had not one, but two toddler's birthday parties to attend with my daughter. So I was shattered and no time for brewing. Didn't even get to make my wart chiller, which is a shame. This weekend, however, not, I've got nothing on, clean slate, so I will definitely get some brewing done. Also, not brewing could be a blessing in disguise. Suppose we've got a heat wave coming and I've got no way of temperature controlling my fermentation. So without that, it's good to not be fermenting at a high temperature and possibly introducing off flavors through stressed yeast. So what can I talk to you about this homebrew Wednesday, seeing as I have no brewing going on at, or fermenting going on at the moment? Well, let's give the old turbo cider a try. So turbo cider was like a month and a half in the fermentation vessel. It's been just about a month in the bottle. So I'm going to get this cracked and poured. Here she is. Good hiss. No gushing, which is what I like to see, unlike some of my previous homebrew attempts. So, hopefully this will be nice and red. Oh, look at that. And voila. First thing to say about it is you can smell the beetroot from the pour. Hopefully some of the um, sweetener I added will have helped. Looks like it's got a decent level of carbonation. Difficult to tell, it's a bit murky. I didn't put any clarifying agent in, it's just the juice and the yeast. It smells of beetroot. Overriding smell you get is beetroot. Normally, I'm not very good at determining the smells of stuff, but this smells of beetroot. Hmm. Hmm. Now, the last time I tasted this, it was straight out of the um, fermenter. It's got a lot more flavour. This time, it's a lot sweeter, obviously. I added quite a lot of sweetener to it. The carbonation gives it a decent amount of mouthfeel. But it's also quite tart, but I quite like that tartness. There is a more pronounced beetroot flavour to it as well. It's got a nice earthy tone on the back notes. Yeah, that's not half bad actually. Still, not much ginger flavour, which is a shame. As a reminder, I used um, a combination of beetroot juice and apple and ginger juice. In the apple and ginger juice, you do get a nice ginger flavour to it. However, there isn't really much ginger flavour in this. Tastes predominantly of beetroot. Get a nice bit of apple tartness in it as well. Nice. Got a good sweetness to it now that I've put the uh, sweetness in. Good carbonation for a decent mouthfeel. Could probably do with some tannins. I uh, got a lot of good advice um, the last time I showed you um, the turbo cider when I was bottling it about what to do on subsequent ciders for some tannins. Could probably use some tannins, but it's not at all bad, really. I mean, it's quite, I think it'd be much nicer if I put this over some ice, had it on a, in the garden on a hot day. Yeah, but it's definitely, definitely drinkable. Hmm, hmm, not a bad effort. Um, if I recall correctly, this fermented out to about six and a half percent. Um, I didn't add any extra brewing sugar, that's just the sugars from the juice. Um, 
pretty clean fermentation. Don't think there are any off flavours in it, which is good. But I did brew it back in June when the weather was arse. Yeah, it's good, but it could be even better. Tannins are a must, I think. Hmm. In conclusion, not a bad turbo cider, and it's encouraging me to actually make more ciders, which is probably a good thing. It expands my uh, alcohol taste horizons, let's say. I also do want to get some brewing done this weekend, and I will be using my uh, new boiler, and I will be doing the brew in the bag. Probably going to use make a bit of a use-up IPA. Got three or four kilograms of Marisotta and plenty of like random hops in the freezer so I think I'll just use them all up so I can get some new ingredients in for more brews. But that's about it for this week so please give this video a comment or give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate all the interaction I get to have with you folks out there via the comment section. Also go visit the Facebook page and go visit the Twitter page if you haven't already. Please click subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the cracking brewing content I've got coming up. Look out for a review video later in the week where I review Big Banana Brewing's ATM IPA. And thank you very much for watching. Cheers, guys. <laughs>